Alright, so welcome to the video that discusses PV Watts. PV Watts is put out by the National Renewable Energy Lab, and it's a simple way to calculate the output of your photovoltaic array uh, different locations and different orientations. So the way I get to PV Watts is I just type in PV Watts in Google. And there's a couple different versions of PV Watts. I like to use version number one. Version two is good, but it's a little more complicated and a little harder to get at the results, in my opinion. So what we're going to do is click on PV Watts version 1. What's nice about this is it has the whole US here in clickable format. So since we're from Delaware, let's click on Delaware. You know it's a little hard because it's so small. And then uh, the only state, the only city it has in the state of Delaware is Wilmington. So let's go ahead and click on Wilmington. Okay, so let's a couple different things. Obviously we're in Wilmington, Delaware. There's an identification number up here and there's a bunch of information the DC rating, and this is the rating of the photovoltaic modules themselves so because photovoltaic modules output DC power or direct current power so uh, right now it's 4 kilowatts this turns out you can't make any lower so you can make it higher but you can't make it lower so uh, we are uh, going to keep it like that and we have to make we have to figure out a way to change that down to our 20 watt or um, panels that we have on our trainer. So then the DC to AC D rate factor, this is the factor that you have to figure out. So you basically have to figure out, uh, right now what this is saying is that 77% 77, 77 of the power that the modules put out are going to actually make it to the uh, AC power, which is after the inverter, remember. Okay, so that's so that so and again we can you can do D rate factor help or click on here for some more help on that. Now the array type. Right now we have fixed tilt, uh, and that just means it's the same orientation all year long. It never changes. One axis tracking means it tracks the sun um, north, south, east, and west, but stays the same tilt. And two axis tracking means it has two axes of rotation. The panel does so it'll be faced directly at the sun all year long. So there's obviously advantages to that, but there's also disadvantages because you have to buy the motors and pay for all that tracking system. So we're going to do fixed tilt for now, but these options are available to you if you uh, want to buy them. Okay, so we have fixed tilt. Now, let's talk about um, the orientation. The array tilt is the, by default, it's latitude. So the array tilt is zero if you're, if you're lay the panel, uh, the panel flat on the ground, and it's 90 if it's perpendicular to the ground. So the default equals latitude. That's because this gives um, the maximum power output for, or the maximum energy output for the year if we make the default equal to latitude. So the latitude at Wilmington, Delaware is 39.7, so the tilt's 39.7. So we'll keep it like that for now. Um, and then the azimuth basically means it's not the tilt from, from the horizontal, it's the orientation, so north, south, east, or west. Uh, 180 is south, so that's what that makes the default, and that's actually the, always going to be the best for um, any anything in the northern hemisphere, which Delaware is. Okay, now, the cost of electricity. Since we don't have a grid-connected system, this is not going to matter for us. Again, this is not going to matter uh, for our uh, evaluation or our um, class. But if you ever in a situation in the future where you do have a grid tied system, that's what you want to look at. You can you can do that. It'll calculate stuff for you. Okay, so hit, let's hit calculate. Okay, so now it brings up the results. And really what we're interested in is three things. These are all the things we input. And here's our outputs. So here's the month of the uh, year. So January to December. The solar radiation now, kilowatt hours per meter squared per day. Remember, that's a special unit called sun hours. So sun hours are the average, the equivalent number of hours during that during that day, during a day, where a solar panel would be producing 100% of its output. So, for example, in uh, May, we have 5.34. So that means in May, on average, the solar panel is equivalently outputting at 5.34 hours its maximum output. Okay, so that's how you can figure that out. And then we have the AC energy. Um, this is the output that would come out in the AC side of the solar panel, or the solar system. 
so out of the inverter, in kilowatt hours during that month. So this is a good way that, that you can start with your calculations here. Uh, the energy value comes from the cost of electricity. So again, we're not using we're not using the energy value column at all. So you'd use th these three columns, and this would probably do okay for your um, for your results. So what we're going to do, what, what the next video will show you, is something called system advisor model, where you can graph these things much more easily, um, and it's a easier thing, easier program to use, uh, or it's not an easier program, but it gives you much more. Uh, detailed results. So that will be the topic of the next video. So look for that.